Sometimes the smallest things have the largest stories to tell. In the Otway National Park, west of Melbourne, scientists from Museums Victoria are looking for a little bug that can tell us about the movement of entire continents. What we're looking for is moss that is associated with the bases of the nothophagus or the beech trees down here. We're after a particular small little sap-sucking bug, only about two to four millimetres in body length, that feeds on the moss and they're called peloridiids. In the fossil records, peloridiids have been found as far back as 230 million years. Peloridiids are currently found on the west coast of Tasmania, throughout the Otways, along the Great Dividing Range, Lord Howe Island, New Caledonia and New Zealand, but also on the other side of the Pacific, in Chile and Argentina. This begs the question. Now, how can a little bug, about two to four millimetres in body length, and it can't fly, how can it get across the Pacific Ocean and over into another continent? Well, the reason is that many years ago, all of those land masses were a single land mass called Gondwana. By hitching a ride as the continents drifted apart, the moss bugs ended up on other sides of the world. They are travellers from an ancient supercontinent and living evidence supporting the theory of plate tectonics. And that's why we've come down to examine it, to be able to pick up some current examples and see what's down here. We know there's about three species of bug down here, or the moss bug, and then that gives us, as I said, direct evidence that there was a single landmass before plate tectonics moved the continents apart and put up New Zealand, Lord Howe Island uh, and, and Norfolk Island. So they're fascinating, they give us a window to the past.